Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how you can apply mustache replacement to text files and configuration files in Python using Chevron. Stay tuned. If you're working on a solution or an application that is required dynamic adjustment of values in maybe a configuration file or a text file, mustache replacement can often be the right solution. If you would like to learn more about Chevron, you can head on over to github.com, Noah Morrison forward slash Chevron. Here's the source code. And then there is also an introduction and also some examples of how to use it. Okay, let's dive into it. Here I've switched over to Visual Studio Code and I am running Python version 3.10. So first thing I want to do is I want to create a virtual environment. So we just do a python-m and then let's call it my chevron demo. Let's hit enter. Once my virtual environment has been created, let's say here don't show again. Once it has been created, I need to switch into my virtual environment. So I want to switch into my Chevron demo and I want to activate it. And do that by typing source. And then in the bin directory, I have my activate file. And now I have a running virtual environment in my Chevron demo. Uh, next thing we need to do, we need to pip install Chevron. So I'm just typing in pip install Chevron and it goes through the installation. Don't worry about the warning at the bottom. This is just that my pip version is outdated. Um, however, the installation was successful. To check that it really is true, I can just type in Chevron, enter, and I get my help menu here, and we are all set, and we can go ahead and start working on some files. Here I have created a file. I call it mysimplestart.py, and to keep it really simple, I will go ahead and just take the example from the GitHub page from Chevron, and we'll just paste it in here. And all it says here is we're importing our Chevron package. We're saying Chevron render this sentence and replace mustache here in our double curly braces with the world, the word world. So let's go ahead and save this. And in order to run it, we just run, I am in my virtual environment. We just run a Python, my simple start. Let's run it. And as you can see here in my terminal, there is no output printed. Uh, that is because render does not contain any print functionality. So we will need to go ahead and need to capture this output in a variable. Uh, I will call it just simply my output. And then what we want to do here is we want to print our value out, print uh, my output. So let's save this and let's run this again. And you see here, it has replaced mustache in between the double curly braces here with the word world, and it prints out hello world. That was an easy example. Um, this is literally just in, in the code that we do in the replacement. So let's take a look at if we had a file and we want to go ahead and load a file and then replace various uh, values in that file and print it out. As a uh, next example here, I went ahead and I've created a text file called myinfile.txt. And I have just written a random text in here. This is a demo off. And then in my mustache replacement double curly brace here, product, hopefully double curly brace person will like this video. So how do we get this now replaced? Because this might be a dynamic value, right? I may have different products, I may have different people. So how can we go ahead and use Chevron to replace these values dynamically? I have created another file, my file demo.py. And what I will do here is, is I yet again will go ahead and just simply, nope, that's not right copy over from GitHub as a starter. 
my file replacement code. Um, so I save the typing, but ultimately it's the same thing. I want to import Chevron, and now I've got to change here the file that I want to open, which in my case is uh, my nfile.txt. I want to open it only in read mode. We open it as F, and then here Chevron render, and then I have mustache world. In this case, it's not mustache, it is product. And let's say here we call it Chevron. And let's go ahead and print this straight out. So we just do a print Chevron render. And here as well, let's save this and let's run it. So we run a Python my file demo let's hit enter and you see here this is a demo of chevron so this was replaced exactly as we wanted and the value that we did not give here so the person right here has just been left blank because there was nothing to be replaced and it is not being rendered either so hopefully we'll like this video now how do we get a second value in here very simple we're passing in a dictionary here. So what I can do is this just a comma, quote, person, colon, quote, and let's call this person John. And let's save this. And if I go ahead and run my code again, let me clear my terminal. I run it again. And you will see here now, this is a demo of Chevron. Hopefully John will like this video. Um, let's go ahead in here and change this. This is a product Excel and Anna. And if I save this and I run it again, let me clear again, run it again. You see, this is a demo of Excel. Hopefully Anna will like this video. And you can go ahead and do this for any length of text. So this uh, works quite well. And um, now you can also imagine how you can go ahead and actually write this back out to a new file. And I will show you that next. Let's say we do not want to print this out to the screen, but we want to write this to a new file. The simplest way to do this is we opening our file, reading it in. We're doing our replacements. So rather than printing our replacements, we want to write them out. So I can go in here and I can just say with open, Let's call it my changed file.txt. I want to open it in write mode as O. Oh. And then in here, rather than a print, let's move this in. We do an O write. And that's it. That's all the changes we need to make. Let's go ahead and save this and run it. Python my file demo, hit enter, and you see here my changed file has been created. And if I double click on it, this is a demo of Excel. Hopefully, Anna will like this video. And what we can do too now is this, if I change this again, rather than Excel, let's change it back to Chevron. And the person now is Tony. Let's just say, just for demo purposes, and I run this again. And I'm opening my changed file. This is a demo of Chevron. Hopefully, Tony will like this video. And this is how you now can use this too, to take an existing file that has the correct syntax in it for mustache replacement. You can use Chevron, and then you can write out a changed file um, and then use that file if you need to. Now let's go ahead and take it to the next level and apply it to actually something more realistic and something that would come up in the real world. What I've done here, I have created a template file. Uh, this is supposed to mimic a JSON file later that will be used for deployments to different environments. Uh, in my example here, I just call it template.txt. I do have an environment in here, a product, a version, and an application. 
and I have my mustache replacement in here. Please note they are in quotes and this is so I do create a valid JSON file when I'm done. Um, and what the goal is now, I do have an input file that may come from another system. It's maybe manually created or something along these lines. So I have a, a manual input file or an input file here, a JSON input file in which I have my different environments listed out. In my case, I only have dev and qual and the values are being passed in. So the idea here is I want to create or uh, support an automated system in which I'm just consuming configuration inputs and I'm using a template to then have actually a system output the appropriate JSON file to then move it on to another system for deployment or further process it. So in my uh, input JSON, I have my environments here. I have my dev, I have my qual, I have my product a version and application. Um, and here is now the application to process this. I've kept it really simple um, and straightforward. There is, um, as you may know, a million other ways to write this. I've uh, kept it this way just to keep it simple for this demo. So the first thing I'm doing here, I am opening my configuration input file. I'm reading it into my config variable. Then I am going ahead and I am iterating through my config file after I load it into JSON. In the environments, I iterate through it. And then I got to iterate through my environments here through so that I can get my environment names. So this, for example, will result into dev or qual. Or if you have more or less, this is completely dynamic. And then I'm creating a dictionary here. And then I'm loading my environment, my product, my version, and my application into my dictionary. And then I've written a small function, create environment file, in which I'm passing my environment and the data dictionary. So if I scroll up a little bit, here is my function, uh, create environment file. It takes two arguments, environment and data. I'm opening and reading in my template, which I'm doing right here. And what we're doing here with Chevron is called unpacking. So we're just passing args into our Chevron render function and we're passing the arguments in the template and the data. The data is a dictionary and the template can be a text file um, or in my case, I'm just reading it in here too. I'm opening my template, I'm reading it in, I'm passing it in. Then what I'm doing here is I'm creating a new variable and um, that is the result from our Chevron render using these arguments. Then I'm opening a new file to write to and I'm prefixing it with the environment name that I've passed in and call it config file.json. I'm opening it in write and then I'm writing it out. And that's all there is to it. So you may notice here, I know that might be kind of small, but there is no environment specific configuration files right now. If I'm running my um, code, you will see I have here now a dev config file JSON and I have a qual config file JSON. And if I'm taking a look at this one, you'll see here out of my template, this, I now have created a fully va valid JSON file that I can now use and pass into another system um, or something along these lines. And the same is here for qual. Just to show this has changed according to what I have passed in my input here, Golang 211 and matrix. And if I'm looking here, Golang 211 and matrix. And this is a good idea how also in the real world you can just from one input file modify um, and mustache replace values dynamically based for example upon um, environments and create new files for further processing. Well, I do thank you very much for uh, watching my video. I do appreciate it and um, I hope that you found this helpful and Hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thank you.